Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and this is going to be a series of videos about finding the distortion points in your audio system, considering that the head unit is the beginning of the chain. So stay tuned. In this demonstration, we are going to find out where the distortion po points are off of the low output, which is the preamp, inside of your aftermarket head unit. Right now, I do not have an aftermarket head unit. I'm using a stock car stereo. Now, when doing this, you're going to need a few things, okay? Well, you're going to need a pair of headphones. And not using a cheap pair of or a little earbud that goes uh, on your ear like the uh, iPods headphones. Those won't work very well with this. It will be very difficult to find a distortion point. Plus, you want something that's going to be a halfway decent headphone, not some cheap ones. Normally, with the cheap headphones, the distortion point that uh, they create of their own when a signal is given to them uh, may throw you off as far as finding a distortion point of the, the uh, head unit. Now, you can get a set of earbuds, Skull Candy or whatever they call them. Um, they actually work very well. These are a set of Zune headphones. And if you know what the MP3 player for Zune is, they were very good as far as quality comes out and uh, how these headphones sound. Plus, you can put a lot of volume into these before they start distorting. I've used those, and I've also used similar headphones to these. Now, you don't have to get the same brand, same brand name, uh, but you want something that's good quality headphone, decent quality headphone. Not break the bank headphone, but better than the uh, the little iPads or I what a pods or whatever you call them. Now, on the back of the head unit, you will see that there is a plug on the back of it. Okay, that's normally for your uh, amplified speaker output and your power source coming into it. Now, I don't recommend cutting up the stock harness that's inside of a vehicle. You can buy. Uh, almost any auto parts store sells any place that sells any type of uh, uh, car installation kits and stuff. It's a harness that it's a plug that uh, plugs into basically an adapter. The stock harness of your vehicle that has all your speaker wires on it, plus your positive, negative, and constant power on it. And basically, all you do is whatever plug comes with your your aftermarket stereo. The color codes of those wires are the same as the uh, adapter that plugs into the, after the, the stock car st uh, harness and uh, you just match up the wires. But just make sure that you match them up correctly if you're going to use uh, the speaker wires, uh, the, amp the head unit amplifier for the speakers. Some of these wires are color coded where they're like green with a black stripe or green with a white stripe. Make sure you match those wires up together otherwise you'll have speakers that are off phase. Now, back to this. As you can see, normal uh, uh, car audio uh, head units would have, aftermarket head units, would have an RCA plug somewhere on the back of the head unit, and as you can see, this has none. So I'm going to use a Y adapter. Bam, I just installed RCAs on the back of this head unit. Now, remember that the outside ring is ground. The tip of it is positive. And you're going to need to know that. Now, what you're looking for when you do this test is basically finding out the uh, distortion level off of the preamp that's going to feed your amplifiers uh, off the head, the aftermarket head unit. And that's where these headphones will come into play. Now, on your headphones, you have a ground, then you have a left and a right. Not necessarily in that order. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this, after you install the radio, after you get everything hooked up the way you want it, your power, uh, you've got your dangling RCAs underneath your dashboard because obviously you're going to run those to your amplifier, and the stereo is installed in place. Now you want to turn it on and either use a, a good quality CD that doesn't have, that doesn't sound overdriven. I've noticed that a lot of the newer CDs nowadays are pretty much overdriven as far as the, the sound quality goes. That's going to give you a false reading with this. So you want to be careful. <coughs> now, when you turn the, the aftermarket stereo on, you do not want to mess with the bass. You don't want to mess with the treble or any mid-range or any equalization or even the loud button. 
because when you turn the head unit up to a certain point, the loud button becomes obsolete. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up taking the RCAs. You can get an adapter for this. It's a Y adapter with a plug that'll accept this on the other end. But you can do it this way too. Take the dangling RCA, kind of touch them together like this to where uh, you have your positive on one of the positive marks of your headphones and then the ground is touching the outer ring. And start turning the volume up slowly. You want to find out where that preamp inside that aftermarket head unit is going to start to distort. So when you start turning it up slowly, say this head unit uh, maxes out at 50 on the volume scale, okay? So you're getting closer and closer and closer to 50. Say you're at uh, uh, 47 and the headphones don't sound right. The, the, the volume is still going to be low on the headphones, so you want to make sure that outside noise around you is kind of on the quiet side. So doing this in a garage or in a quiet area is it's someplace you want to do this at. And you're listening for the music to start breaking up, starting to get distorted, not sounding as clean as it used to uh, at a lower volume. So. 47 it starts to distort you're starting then the music doesn't sound very good anymore so you want to back that up by two so instead of 47 you want to drop it down to 45 now you just found out where your distortion point coming off of the preamp feeding your rcas that would be feeding your amplifiers pretty simple pretty easy pretty self-explanatory not a problem now you can go ahead, write that number down from that head unit. 45 is basically where you want to stick around with the highest point of your volume. Now it's time to run your amplifiers. That'll be a next video. Take care, guys.